and welcome to Ohio Hobbies. Here we are. It's time for yet another box of halves. We've had a good run on silver, so I'm really hoping to keep that up. That last box had a beautiful walker in it, and I'd love to see some more. Maybe this time we'll get a really nice looking Benji. And this box is, once again, courtesy of Consumers National Bank. We've done really good with their boxes, so I'm thrilled. All right, here we go. All right. See if we see anything that stands out. Nope. Nothing on top. But let's go ahead and start right here and get these things opened up, find out what's in them. I'll bring you along for the ride. Well, it's been a little bit of a slow starting box, but 12 rolls in, and we have silver. So it's gonna be this one right here. 1968, 40%er. We did it. Another box. More silver. First NIFC of the box. 2003 out of Denver. So we will add that up here to the collection. Well, this is roll 15. And here's a 1974. It's on a Philly. I don't have anything listed, but if we take a look. Right there should be an FG. And there's a little bit of damage here. And some damage right here. And a little bit up here. But I see absolutely no signs that there was an FG there. So I'm thinking despite the books not showing a 74 Philly, no FG. I'm pretty sure that's a no FG. I don't see one. And I did the old spin and tried it different directions. And I'm still not seeing the FG, even upside down. I'm not seeing it. So for now, I'm calling that one a no FG. Let me know what you think down in the comments. 21 rolls in and I believe we did it again. Right there, smack dab in the center. I believe it's going to be a 90 this time. Right there. 1964. Absolutely 90%er. That's the way to go. Maybe the box is heating up. But still, two silvers. I'm not going to get upset with that at all. I believe we just did back to back rolls. Right there in the center. I'm pretty sure. We just did another one. And 1967. We're in the silver. 40%. Back to back rolls. Uh, this is going to be the 33rd roll. And we struck silver. It's going to be this one right, right here. 1968. That one's actually in pretty decent shape as well. Pretty nice condition. Not a lot of major scratches. I'm liking it. 1968 to add to the stack of silver. Very next roll. Strikes again. Oh, I heard it. 1968 this time. Another 40% to add to the growing stack. One in roll number 45 that I'm thinking might be proof. See the tone? It's going to be right in there. 
Let's go ahead and pull it out and see if we have a proof. Well, just a very thick 1977 out of Denver. Well, it's not what I thought it was, but sometimes you can get fooled. And this time, it fooled me. With only three more rolls left, this box ain't giving up. It's going, but I should say, it's giving up another silver. Okay, another 1968. That one's out of Denver. We will add it to the stack. Oh, this roll also had a hold coin. Nice little hole there if somebody wanted to wear it as a necklace. But it's a 1971 with a hole. Well, this is the very last roll. And I'm pretty sure we have one last silver. 1969. I'll finish this up and be right back with a recap. But I want to see... No, oh, that is dark. Yeah, just 1986. But it's actually black. It looks green on the camera, but it is black. Well, that final roll spit out. A 2007 NIFC. So we'll take that, and we will add it with the 2003 NIFC for two total for the box. And we have our 1974, no FG at all. We have one 90% silver of the box, 1964 Kennedy. And we have seven 40% silvers in the box, 69 Denver, 68 Denver, 68 Denver, 66 Philly, 68 Denver, 67 Philly, and another 68 Denver. Well, that's the end of that box. That one there is just to see if it's going to upgrade my album. And if you would, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Give me a subscribe down on this side. Hit the bell notification. That way you're notified each and every single time that I post a video and you don't miss out on anything. Well, other than that, that's the end of this box. I want to thank you for sticking around and watching. Hope you enjoyed the hunt as much as I did. And I just want to say, get your hobby on.